welcome uh, to the next video of our uh, second module here in this video we will see the introduction of the crystallization okay crystallization basically uh, deals with the formation of a different phase from one phase actually the main aim of the study is uh, to deal with the crystallization which occurs in our materials to begin with uh, let us see from our simple liquids okay so crystallization uh, is the transformation of a liquid phase to a solid crystalline phase okay a material which is in a liquid phase okay if it is changed to some solid or a crystalline phase we can call that process as a crystallization and crystallization is the process by which upon cooling or by reducing the temperature an ordered that is crystalline solid phase is produced from a liquid melt having a highly random molecular structure this process when temperature is reduced a structured crystalline phase is produced okay from a liquid and that process we will call it as a crystallization process the crystal shapes which uh, forms with this process include cubic tetragonal orthorhombic hexagonal monoclinic triclinic and triclinic so these uh, these crystals can form Uh, in this process and the condition of the liquid to form the crystals is that the liquid should be or the solution should be super saturated and if you don't know super saturated then we can uh, we will see the condition of super saturation in the coming slides okay so this is a liquid and we can see that here a small crystal is growing so we will call it as a nucleation and after this nucleation this size will increase that is crystal growth uh, is happening and finally it will turn into a solid so this process upon which uh, liquid is uh, liquid or uh, whatever it is so we will see how various things will happen in various phases but for the time being just understand that a liquid phase is converted to a solid phase so that process is known as crystallization and one more condition is there that solid which is formed okay solid which is formed should be crystalline in nature okay so the mechanism of the crystallization can be classified like this so the first condition that uh, our solution okay our liquid or our solution should be super saturated and please keep it in mind that this situation will not last long or it is in a non equilibrium state and in the uh, with the super saturation and as temperature decreases uh, some growth or the initial growth happens that is known as the nucleation and what's the nucleation Uh, happens so it will act as the site or it will act as the cause for the crystal growth that means from here from that nucleation point the crystal starts growing and the crystal growth is the next phase and finally we will get a crystal structure which is in equilibrium so now we heard that is the solution should be super saturated so now let us see what you mean by the word super uh, saturated super saturation refers to a state in which the liquid or in here it is the solvent containing more dissolved solid or the solute that can ordinarily be accommodated at that temperature for example like uh, a solute is added into that solvent so that we will get a solution anyway our liquid will be a, a solution so 
that solution when the temperature uh, at a particular temperature for for a particular temperature it should accommodate a certain amount of uh, solute or a solvent can handle a certain amount of dissolved solids or solute so if it exceeds at that particular temperature we can call it as a super saturated state that particular solution as a super saturated state super saturated has uh, got many significance in in our uh, in our daily lives okay and you i think you all have studied such uh, applications in the in chemistry so the super saturation occurs with a chemical solution when the concentration of a solute exceeds the concentration specified by the value of equilibrium solubility okay this is what we explained Supersaturation is the driving force for crystal nucleation and growth will ultimately dictate the final crystal size distribution so it will uh, lead to the growth and it will finally it will uh, it will the supersaturation will dictate how the crystal size or the how the crystal distribution uh, should happen so it is critical uh, to understand the concept of the super saturation so the concept of the super saturation is very much essential and for the time being just understand that it is the it is super saturation refers to the amount for the higher amount of solute which is present in a particular solvent in a solution so the next state is the nucleation nucleation as i said before is an important process in the formation of a crystal okay from a liquid or uh, it can be from solution it can be from a liquid or it can be from a vapor where whatever it is okay so it is uh, just as i mentioned it is the site or just keep it in mind that in which a sm uh, small number of ions or atom or molecules become arranged in a pattern characteristics of a crystalline surface forming a site upon which the additional particles are deposited as the crystal groups so here here uh, when when like for a for a surface is considered and eh? just above that particular sur surface at a particular point a particular point the crystallization just initiate and that point it is known as the nucleation okay we will term it as nucleation and upon this portion like all our crystal starts grow crystal growth begins okay so more details i will uh, we will see in the coming slides so nucleation we will call it as the birth of new crystal nuclei okay so formation or the birth of the new nuclei like either spontaneously from the solution or in presence of external crystals that is secondary nucleation okay this thing we will uh, see in the later slides but for the time being just understand it's the birth of new crystal nuclei so the nu this nucleation process it can be classified into two the first one is heterogeneous and second is homogeneous okay heterogeneous nucleation okay as I, uh, which i have mentioned here is a heterogeneous nucleation okay begins on an alien surface that means we will have a new surface sometimes a new surface will be there or a new particles will be there in our solution okay so such uh, such a case that uh, that such a case the heterogeneous nucleation will begin okay so that alien surface or that alien particle will act as a nuclei and upon which the crystal growth happens for example the dust which is uh present uh, in the atmosphere for the atmospheric aerosols 
or uh, some some other dust molecules which is seen in the solution can serve as the heterogeneous nucleation center or heterogeneous nucleation sites okay so in the atmosphere we will see the dust or the some aero atmospheric aerosols this will act as the heterogeneous nucleation center for the water condensation in the atmosphere so this will lead to the water condensation and uh, the water will condense and we will get uh, in the form of rain okay so the dust and atmospheric aerosols are very critical so these are heterogeneous nucleation okay now let us see more into deep uh, uh, into this nucleation so the nucleation can occur in gas as seen in the water vapor and liquid it is obvious and solid phase also the nucleation will happen we will get uh, astonished how how a nucleation will begin in a solid phase okay so let us see the those one some example of the phase that may form the nucleation in which gas that's creation of liquid droplets in saturated water vapor saturated vapor in liquids i think it's uh, common so like the formation of the gas bubbles in the crystals uh, like formation of the ice uh, on the glassy regions and all. in solids so this is somewhat critical the nucleation of the crystalline or amorphous and even the vacancy clusters in the solid material some 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 non crystalline nature will convert it into the crystalline phases okay so such process we will also known as or call as crystallization such uh, solid solid state nucleation is very important for the semiconductor industries and most nucleation like process are physical we will can call it as physical rather than chemical process uh, so this is about a general idea about the nucleation and the last one we have seen the heterogeneous nucleation how the heterogeneous nucleation occurs so for the heterogeneous nucleation to occur sometimes we will need a foreign surface or a foreign particle whatever it is okay so uh, here now let us see what is what do you mean by a homogeneous nucleation homogeneous uh, nucleation is responsible for the formation of the particle from the vapor phase so here what happen is that uh, here we don't uh, need any foreign phases okay so here this homogeneous nucleation uh, without preferential nucleation sites will have that means such a homogeneous nucleation occurs spontaneously and randomly within uh, our uh, our medium or within our solution so like heterogeneous uh, nucleation is much easier to happen and it will happen in a very fast rate but the homogeneous solution it is uh, with occurs with much more difficulty in the interior or uniform uh, of a uniform subst uh, substance so such kind of uh, nucleation which is developed is known as the homogeneous nucleation so here uh, like uh, for example uh, you can see the nucleation of the ice okay and before that let us see this video here we can see that uh, this uh, liquid droplets are cooled cooled down to uh, like less than um, zero value zero degree celsius it is cooled cooled and but it is not getting into uh, solidifying because it is very very pure water so immediately what they will do is that they will pour some impurities over it and immediately crystallization will happen over it you can see those so uh, this is the process in which uh, the crystallization will happen and that the, those uh, thing is like some heterogeneous uh, nucleation you can see this one 
so it is cool to some yeah see this one when impurities are fall upon uh, this metal or sorry this uh, liquid or the water immediately what happened is that that face have turned into ice you can see how how the ice is coming over that okay now let us uh, uh, see the condition of the super cooled water uh, droplets here you can see uh, the ice formation okay you all know at what temperatures the ice will form when you keep the water in the freezer but that uh, water contain many impurities that is why it gets solidified at this this temperature but if you if you just uh, take some pure water as here and pure means all the impurities are removed and you can see that even at minus 35 degrees centigrade it is very hard to uh, crystallize or freeze so such uh, process is not a super cooling or <coughs> super cooling is a process in which we will lower the temperature of the liquid or the gas below its freezing point so that we will uh, like freezing point of the regular liquid we will uh, just freeze it down for becoming it into cold so that 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 process is known as super cooling okay so this is uh, uh, the comparison between the homogeneous nucleation and heterogeneous nucleation homogeneous nucleation like uh, as we reduce the temperature it will uh, just nucleation will happen this is the nucleation process which just happened and uh, with the same material itself just additional uh, many atoms uh, will come and join or the crystal formation will develop over this nucleus so such process is known as homogeneous nucleation or homogeneous growth here you have heterogeneous nucleation you can see that this is the initial uh, so this is the initial uh, liquid solvent molecules here this uh, solvent uh, molecule is this one but here we have some foreign material like silicon dioxide so what will happen is that the silicon dioxide that uh, atoms will act as the nucleation sites so uh, the particle will come and grow over this one so over this uh, particle some uh, material will grow so this process is known as heterogeneous nucleation and uh, see we have got uh, some we need to study uh, the mathematical basis of this homogeneous and heterogeneous nucleation and it will be taken in the next video so thank you for attending